Hey guys, this is my first video on the channel, and today we're going to be doing a tackle overview of everything that I have that I would use or wouldn't use, I don't know. I guess we'll start by tools. Here I have a flashlight that's just like, um, I forget the, the lumens rating, but it's a, a Lux Pro. So, where's that? Lux Pro. Let me read the model name. It's an LP290. So if you wanted to get that model, you can. These are some pliers made by Blue Hawk. Some pretty rusty pliers, to be honest. They're hard to open, they're hard to close. Um, yeah, I'm using a wide angle lens. Or, yeah. Getting used to the camera. These are some, you know, the ones that go, uh, I'm doing it the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. So these are the ones that lock. Like, you can grab the hook and then clamp that down. It's not going anywhere, so it makes it easier. These are my pliers. Um... These pliers, if my camera will focus, there we go. These pliers are really nice because it's got a really thick knife, thick blade, keeps an edge. And if I can open it, there we go. Really nice uh, like split cutters right there that go overlap. So it cuts the line like butter for a screwdriver. A clip and a bottle opener, same thing, because everything has to have a bottle opener to be tactical. Um, let me close that, set that back. Here we have some Rapala scissors for cutting braid when pliers don't work. Over here we have uh, like a nail clipper in case I don't know in case I lose all those other tools. These are the nail clippers. I forget the brand, but they're made in China. You can probably read it right there. But yeah, they're really nice. I like them. Uh, they don't have a file on them, which I love. I, th I think I actually broke the file off. Because I just hated the file. It was a piece of trash. Next thing are these. Oh, these are really nice. My dad has like three pairs of these in the boat. These are, let me read. These are like the Cuta, 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 Cutas. They're cutest, and they're basically the godliest braid cutters in the world. So yeah, these are very small and compact, and I love them. Uh, I got this knife uh, for a dollar at my local tackle shop. It's pretty nice. It's pretty dull, but if you're on a kayak and you don't have a knife on you, this thing gets the job done. And we have a hook file. And I rarely use this. But, it's nice to have one. It's very light, so it doesn't even, like, do anything to me. Like, weight-wise. So, that's all my tools that I like to have on me most of the time. Here we got tackle boxes. I've got two empty Bass Pro tackle boxes. Very nice. High quality. Um, it actually says... I don't know if you'll be able to read that. But, it says here... If I can get it to show up. It says National Headquarters Springfield Montgomery, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, I got two of those. I think it came with three. I don't know what happened to the third one. I think I just lend it to my dad. Uh, here we got one of those little tackle boxes that clips to your rod with this little thing. Just clips straight to it. And that's like one of the things I'll take camping. Here we have a small tackle box made by Plano. You know, cheap, affordable. So I got two of those. Oh, oh, this came with like another kit. It's even cheaper. Ah, uh, here we have just random stuff that I have. It's a Plano box. Open this up. Let's see what we got. A little hair jig. Uh, hooks, snaps, more snaps, a weight, 
hooks. Looks like swivels. Uh, like a hair jig. And a wrapper for something. So, yeah. I got like a ton of those. Got like three or four. And then I have this uh, nice, this is actually my favorite out of all the tiny boxes I have. It's this flambo box. And it even, it's even got that zero tab, so I love. So I just made a mess of that, but okay. Here we have my spoons. Uh, I have very few spoons, but I have a box for them. Here we have like this. I can. There's probably a reading on here. No. Giant Trouble. Probably for Striper. I think it's made by Alligator or something. Something like that. This is a Bass Pro Shop 3 fourths ounce. 3 fourths ounce. I think it's going to dark. But I guess this is 3 fourths ounce. Maybe an ounce. Um, in here we have. This is actually cool. This is an old stinger spoon for salmon and steelhead. I can unhook that. And then here we have like a massive one ounce Bass Pro Shops 3D spoon for jigging for like, um, jigging for, what are they called? Bonita. You jig for Bonita or Jacks with that. Don't know why I have it. I think my dad got it for me. Doesn't know why he bought it. Or anything. So, in here... Oh crap, my tripod. Yeah, I'm just going to take you off while I'm doing this. Um, this is trebles. Um, what are those? Those are snap swivels. Then we have drop shot weights. So we got... Oh shoot, wrong box. Uh, these are... Your standard drop shot weights, and then uh, I can grab one. Oh, well, we have teardrops in here, basically. You can look up what those are. Um, here we have all different sizes and weights of um, Texas rigging weights, which are more widely known as bullet weights. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I'm taking your tripod off. Uh, here we have um, swivels, I guess. I don't know. Tube, um, I guess you could call these tube, um, tube hooks. They could be swim bait hooks. I don't know what they are really, but I use them for tubes. I actually use them in this tube. It works really well. It casts far. Don't don't have any complaints. Here we have Ned rigs and uh, like finesse shaky heads. I think they're called shaky heads. But I love the spring. I can't not use a spring. All different sizes. And then, I think this is pretty cool, but they're pretty cheaply made. They're like a Texas rig, but like, pre-made by Bass Pro Shops. They're called Enticer Series or something. Here we have heavier shaky heads, all different types or sizes, and uh, they're mainly Gamakatsu, but extra wide gap hooks, rigged up stuff, so we have a tube, uh, if I can get it untangled. We just have a Alabama rig, or an umbrella rig, whatever you guys want to call it. We have a pre-rigged fluke. Um, here we have an underspin. Don't know why that's in here right now. And then we have like a craw on one of those pre-Texas rigs. Up here, very light finesse styled curly tail. Here we have a like a shaky head with um like a drop shot bait lizard with that pre-rigged here we have you guys know what bait that is that's the zoom uh finesse worm i think it's like a trick worm but shorter um on like a lighter three eighths ounce shaky head i think lizard same thing uh, this is a Christie Cutter by Zoom on the pre-rigged head. And then a weightless Senko. Uh, down here we have swim bait hooks. I don't know why there's an extra wide gap hook in here. Extra wide gap hooks go there. Yeah, swim bait hooks. Only got a few. Then we have 
circle hooks for catfish, a swim bait in there for some reason, and then an underspin, and then just tons of different sizes of drop shot hooks. That's all. So yeah, sort that out later. Next up, we have, uh, these are crankbaits that I'm not using because of either their size or they, um, or just colors, I don't know. But let's see here. My strap's in the way. Oh, I also have a swim bait in here. Rattles like heck. Really realistic. Super sharp hook. Love it. Some swim baits in here. Rapala. Bass Pro. Storm. Rapala. By the way, if you're looking to buy a swim bait, never buy these. These are absolutely cheap and they don't have an action. These are those Flicker Shad by Berkeley. Bunch of different colors. Then here we have Deep Divers. We got a Craw, sort of like a carp. And then we have um, Chrome and Blackback, but with like a sparkle. Really cool. These are all Cabela's, by the way. Then in here we have Bass Pro Shop Square Bills, Albino Shad, I guess. And then Chartreuse Blackback. I'll show you why that is in there, because it, there, I have a good reason, okay? I have a really good reason. Um, well, in here, oh, I already showed you that. These are some cheaper, shallow diving crankbaits. There's a Cotton Cordell, I forgot the name of that one, and then there's like a Bone Shaker or something? Jawbone, Jawbone Motors. Um, in here, we have some really nice stuff. These are Bandit. Shallow divers, so I have your like chartreuse blue back. I have um, what are these? Uh, well, this is a sort of like a mix between a bluegill and a like I don't know, it looks like a bluegill, I don't know. And then we have a uh, chrome and then blue back, these are all shallow divers, so like three to six feet maximum. Then we have, these are Lucky Craft, um, lipless crankbaits, they're beautiful. I got them for a really cheap price, that's the only reason I have them. And then in here we have it just like, uh, blade baits, and, um, like a countdown minnow from Rapala. And that's that box. In here we have the fun stuff. Stuff that I don't want to rust, because it's all super expensive in my mind. So, in here. We have chatterbaits and jigs. So jigs are up here, chatterbaits are down here. Let's go with chatterbait. Um, so yeah, this is a white chatterbait with a, a white striking swimbait on there. Here we have natural sort of colors. This is like a... I don't know why this is in here. This should be right there. But these are mini chatterbaits. Well, this is a mini chatterbait. A mini... Mi Whatever. Yeah. A bigger chatterbait and a mini chatterbait. Same color, just a little bit bigger there and a smaller one. Here we have a perch colored chatterbait with a Kitex swimbait on there. A frog colored chatterbait. I'm not sure why, but I trade my friend for it. I regret the trade 100%. Here we have natural colors and then a tiny one. I think it's root beer color or something. Uh, and then o Okeechobee Craw with a sort of like a bluegill swim bait. Swim jig by Strike King Hack Attack, I think. In Sexy Shad. Then we have two swim or two swim jigs in Hack Attack, like in bluegill, I guess. And then we have ow, sharp hooks. All natural color. So if my camera will focus. So that's a natural color. Shaky head. I mean, football head. Heavy, heavy natural colors. Uh, this is my favorite. This is the Strike King of uh, football. No, this isn't. This is a Lucky Strike. Very cheap, actually, but it's one of my favorites. I got uh, Biz Bates Craw on there. And this is the Strike King. So, one of my favorites. Need to rig it up again, but I love it. We can just chuck all those back in there. 
You know what? Let's just check them out. Um, some like weird jigs, football heads that are cheap, you know. Then we have mini jigs in different colors, and then we have like more swim jig style stuff. This is a tungsten one, it's a lot heavier. And then we've got um, like a, a booyah one. So yeah, slide that to the side, focus out. Uh, we already did that one. Let's go to crankbaits that I use, that I have in my tackle bag over there. That's my tackle bag. I'll review it later. But, you, yeah, we got Rapalas. Like, this is a DT-14. And then we got some bombers in there. Some bombers. I'm not going to name them all. Uh, here we have super massive deep diving crankbaits. These go like 20 feet plus. Like, um, deeper diving crankbaits. And then just regular deep diving crankbaits in different colors. Brands. This is like a bandit right here. Strike King Cabela's. Lipless crankbaits. So we got Cotton Cordell. Strike King, Cotton Cordell, Cotton Cordell, and Cotton Cordell. Uh, actually, I caught a ton of fish near the end of the summer with this. I don't know. I caught them when uh, they were like schooling in on the minnows. So then we have square bills. This is the reason I had that one churchy's black bag in that box is because I have a Lucky Craft one, and it's really nice, and I don't want to leave it to waste. Uh, here we have, like, a black speckled back white, uh, then sexy shad, and craw. So that's that box. Um, I'm taking this lens off here. There you guys go. You'll be able to see a lot better now. Let me set my lens over there. Okay, then we have Top Water and Jerk Baits. This is actually one of my favorite boxes um, of the like summer. So we have Jerk Baits that I don't use. So we got Strike King. Um, this is not a Mega Bass. It's actually Cabela's in the then we have an x trap and an x bellas and then we have a husky wrap x wrap strike king and then we have ow god that hurt um then we have another Cabela's, and then the one that hit my leg is a bomber toppers we got livingston and then the rest are all cabellas uh, spooks, they are all, um, uh, Head and Zara's, um, what are these called? Well, this is a Chug and Spook Jr., I think this is just Super Spook Jr.'s, but yeah. Then we have mini poppers, mini things, and we have, um, I forget what those are called, mini everything, and then we got frogs, so. That is that box. Now let's get into ultralight lures. Oh yeah, we got them. We got a couple of them. Here we have used lures. Um, so the pink jig heads, tube heads, more he jig heads, jig heads, uh, live bait hooks. Like. Spinner things, spinners, spinner, spinner, swim baits, head jigs, spinner, um, like hard baits for bluegill and bass, small crank baits, and then small crank baits. Nothing much to really worry about that. I'm more so of a bass fisherman than anything. 
let's get all these tackle boxes out of the way. This is the fun part. Oh, we got one more box for you guys. Sorry, I know you want to get into the terminal or any of the um, other stuff, but basically we just have swim bait, knife, heavy, um, like ocean weights, weights, bobber, wire, circle hooks, circle hook, circle hook, more weights, more circle hooks. If I can lift this thing up, it's so heavy with all those weights. Old hook, old hook, old hook, paracord, leader line, bobbers, just junk. We got some more circle hooks. So. That's that. Uh, this is the one of the bags I'll use for traveling. I just put stuff in there. There's the bandolier for it. Um, I don't want to sit on a knife. That would suck. Okay, so we have spinner baits. So, let's see if I can't open this with one hand. They all out? Yep. Here we have Strike King. Here. So we've got Strike King, Single Blade Rattle. Here we have a mini one by Booyah. Here we have a random swim bait. Pretty good. Here we have like a quintuple bladed Strike King spinner bait, like for schooling fish. Here we have a, another Strike King. This is a another. Oh god, those are sharp hooks, man! Wow, here's another Strike King, but this is a Cabela series one with the blade that is imprinted in awesomeness. Another booyah, 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 and then Strike King. This is KVG. There's the bag for it. Line. 14 pound test, barely have any, 50 pound braid, barely have any, and then I have this cheap, dirt cheap 12 pound um, line, I've got like a thousand yards of it, and then, if we, look here we got a snap bowl, and the jig that is my friend, here we have a uh, panfish hooks, yeah, Bait holder and random stuff. But they say need a hook. Here we have bobbers. Let's go to panfish. Um, plastics. I'm stepping on a knife, and that hurt. Okay. Panfish. You're gonna love it. B and M curly tails. More B and M curly tails. One Kitek in a package, and then crappy tubes. Berkeley power bait, straight tails, curly tails, um, more kitex. Oh, that's not that's not crappy stuff. And we have curly tails, and that's all the crappy stuff that I have. So let's get into plastics, which I have a lot of. Um, well, not a lot of, but enough to sustain. Here we have. Some coffee tubes. Different color. Oh, here we go. We got antibiotic. And we have some wire. Wire leader. Here we have Zoom Baby Floops. Uh, like salty super flukes. More super flukes. A one super fluke and then a Charlie's worm flukes. You can see them better. Okay, what else? Got? Gotta move all this stuff over. Here we got lizards. I got bullfrog, skeptonog. Uh, this is seedless watermelon, 
watermelon chartreuse, or a watermelon chart, I don't know, and then June Bug. So we have random stuff, this is like Power Bait, uh, Crazy Like Sugar Craw, uh, Kai Chuck Crazy Flapper 4.4, Z Craw by Zoom, Berkeley Havoc, Craw Fatty, uh, this is like Charlie's Worms, Craw Fatty basically, <laughs> Net Bait, ba Baby Packer Craw, and then Christy Cutters by, Zo by Yum, not Zoom. So we have some oh crap, it's just my lens. Strike King, Sickos, some more Sickos, Gary Amato. Reaction Innovation, Flirts in White Trash, Robo, <clears throat> Robo Worm. These are also finesse baits, by the way. Um, Tournament Series in Sherbert by Bass Pro. And then we have Power Bait. Power worms, and then we have the Zoom Dead Ringers. Here we have some Berkeley Havoc Slim Baits, some Cabela's Slim Baits, Reaction Innovations, and then Striking. So those are all Slim Baits. Or, I'm not so big, soft plastic. So, there's that. Here we have basically my leftover box. So, like, this line here, there's nothing left. You won't be able to see it, but there's like nothing left on there. Um, there's like nothing left there. Oh god, there's some weights filled in there. Empty those out, I guess. And then just plastic that I don't use. Uh, let's get into, uh, my bag, I guess. This is just a Bass Pro Shops XPS bag. It does the job. I put all my tackle in there if it's, like, four tackle boxes. I think it fits five. Whatever. Who cares about the bag? Let's get into reels, combos, and extras. Okay. For reels, this is... A uh, Micro Light Elite by Bass Pro Shops. It's got seven bearings. It's very small and I love it. Uh, this is a Pen Captiva. I forget the size. What's the size? 4,000 size. So it's like a little bit bigger for bass. Bigger than bass, but it'll get the job done. I like to call this my striper reel. There is a very cheap Zebco Duck Dynasty reel. Here is a old... I think it's an old Team Dewa Shock. I don't know what it is really. Here's an old Bass Pro Shops Viper that's discontinued. Here's a broken Captiva in the size, what, 6,000 size? So, it's got like 40 pound braid on there. It's a really nice reel, I love it. Here's an old bait caster. It's like the old Dewa Procaster X. You just have the switch here that auto deploys that, or you can just switch it off and then do that. But yeah, uh, I screwed it up. But yeah, it holds a little bit of line. My mom is making a mess downstairs, and she's got that switchy thing. So those are all spare. Let's those aside. Let's look at some of my combos. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here we have Lose Mach 1 Speed Spool. Speed Spool Mach 1 on a Wright and McGill Pro Advantage, or Insight Pro Advantage. Got it at Walmart. Got it for a steal. Here we have an old um, Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special on a Berkeley Amp. This is my Swim Bait Texas Rig Rod. That's all I use it for, really. Uh, here we have my frog and rod. It's a Cast King Spartacus Plus on the Lose Mach 1 rod. Um, I'll do a separate reason review on why I switched out the reel for my top water and um, everything else rod, basically. Here, or here we have a uh, Quantum Pulse on a... Um, what is this? A whooping stick by Cabela's. 
it gets the job done and it's my crankbait trolling rod uh, here we have my spinning rod it's a six foot um, tourney trail by Cabela's I know it's a ripoff from the tourney special by uh, Bass Pro but I didn't have a choice my dad bought it for me so um, and it's uh, it's got a Fluger President reel on there, and I use it for drop shot. I know I should switch it to braid, but I just don't want to buy braid right now. Here's my other crankbait trolling rod. It's got a Dewa shock on there, and it's just got an old a Bass Pro Shop Stampede rod. Here we go to ultralight, or just panfish rods. It's like a five foot Fluger President rod on a Dewa shock. I know, we all love the shock. Or no, this is a Reverus or it's just a Revro. Reverus, Revro, I don't know. Don't care. Here we and then here we have Fluger President on the day with Reverus rod. I need to repair the rod because it's got one of the guides is messed up. And here we have another micro light elite combo. Okay, you guys wonder why I have a rod rack with a bunch of rods here. These are all rods that I either don't use or are broken. So this is like my bobber rod for pinfish. As you can see the bobber and then a rod. Here's a tiny little dock demon that I throw spinner baits with. Here's an old bait casting dock demon. Here is a short um, Shakespeare rod. This is that Dewa Procaster X. I need to get a new rod guide on there, but it's a really nice rod. And then we got my old spinning rod that I loved. It was a seven foot tourney trail, uh, but it, the tip broke right there. There's the tip. I need to repair it though. And then we have back up in here a Dewa um, for that one reel right there. And near the end we have two giant catfish rods and yep there they are one to nine foot one to six foot six then we have this is like I forget what year this is this is like the if my camera will focus it says Shakespeare 1920 it was made so yep that's all my stuff that I would use fishing wise out on the boat or on land um, or on a John boat or something. I don't know or on a kayak any type of fishing platform I'll probably do other than like other than noodling I hate noodling I don't know why, but, alrighty, see you all later on another video, where I probably, um, show you some sort of a project, on um, something, I don't know, alright, please like and subscribe if you like the video, um, yeah, thank you for watching, catch you all next time, see ya.